Hi everybody, it's Mike from Inflatable Border and I'm here today to talk about some of our favorite inflatable paddle boards from 2023. Now we've been so busy testing this year that this year is almost over and we're just now getting to this video. But rest assured, many of these paddle boards that we're gonna talk about today have just been updated for 2023 and aren't likely to be changed for 2024. But as always, we'll keep you up to date with any new changes over at inflatableboarder.com. So let's get into it with some of our favorite inflatable paddle boards from 2023. We're gonna start the list off today with a brand new board for this year, the Isle Pioneer Pro 10 foot six inch version. Isle announced their new Pro Series paddle boards this spring with an entirely new construction. Not just a little upgrade here or there, but new everything, including some new technology we haven't seen before. Isle referred to these as their inflatable hardboards. So we were a little skeptical, but once we started using them, we saw where Isle was coming from. The new Infinity Fiber Stringers and Fusion Light technology together make these boards incredibly light, but incredibly rigid. Some of the most rigid paddle boards we've tested. That rigidity makes them more stable. It makes them more confident feeling on the water. It gives them better glide and better speed. And overall, they're still super lightweight. The Pioneer Pro actually comes in three different sizes. There's a nine and a half foot long by 32 inch wide option, a 10 and a half by 34 inch wide, and 11 and a half by 36 inch wide. We chose the 10 and a half because we feel like it's the best combination out there for most paddlers. It's super stable, but still paddles really easily. It's also super versatile with Isle's Isle Link system, where this series of polyethylene tabs along the board allow you to completely customize where your cargo storage is, where you wanna put things like kayak seats, uh, fishing crates, all sorts of other accessories. It has a full length deck pad so you can really utilize the whole size of the board. And I mentioned kayak seats. Isle's new cloud inflatable kayak seat is actually really comfortable and really ergonomic. It, it really makes it a great option to turn the Pioneer Pro 10.6 into a kayak or a stand-up paddleboard whenever you want. Next on our list is a board that we've had on our list for quite a while now, and it keeps coming back for a lot of good reasons, and that's the Blackfin Model XL by iRocker. The Blackfin Model XL is a little bit like a Swiss Army knife. 11 and a half feet long by 34 inches wide. It's a big board, so it can support a lot of capacity for passengers or cargo, but it still paddles really efficiently and quickly thanks to its rigidity and excellent shape. In addition to that great performance on the water, the Model XL is also outfitted with just tons of different accessories on the board. So whether you're fishing or just cruising or camping or anything like that, you can take everything you want on the Model XL, no problems. For this year, iRocker upgraded the construction of their Blackfin Model XL by increasing the amount of overlap between the top and bottom layers and the rail seams by slowing down their construction time. And not only does this kind of help with the durability and longevity of the board, but it actually made it almost 25% stiffer in our bin test. Next, we've got the Isle Pioneer 2.0. Now you may be saying, wait, didn't we just talk about that? but this is actually Isle's older generation paddle board before the Isle Pro came out. And it's been one of our reader favorites for a long time. It's been one of our favorites for a long time. With the Pioneer 2.0, you still get a high quality fusion construction that gives you a nice rigid board, though not quite as stiff as the Pioneer Pro 10.6, but it comes with an excellent all around package and does a great job of being that nice, large, stable board that a lot of beginners really like. It's got a large deck pad to let you stretch out and use that whole board. And it comes in at a great value too, which is one of the many reasons why we have it on our best list for this year. Now, it may seem like we're going back and forth between these two companies, but I promise we'll get to some other boards as well. But next on our list is the iRocker all-around 11-foot Ultra 2.0. That is a bit of a mouthful to say, but this all-around paddleboard is really something interesting as part of a new series of compact paddleboards that iRocker has brought out called their Ultra Series. These boards fold in half to fit into a bag that's about 60% the size of a regular SUP bag. It means you can take it with you pretty much anywhere. It's really easy to travel with, it's lightweight, but it's still a stiff, responsive board that has great speed, great agility, and good stability as well. With the original 1.0 Ultra paddle boards, iRocker ran into a little bit of an issue with not quite hitting their specified width, their target width on the board, but the 2.0s have absolutely fixed that. In addition to being the full 32 inches wide, 
These boards also come with a upgraded construction five piece paddle that eliminates most of the play that was in the previous version paddle and all of the misalignment issues that we saw as well. So overall, iRocker really stepped up this year with the all around 11 Ultra 2.0. Next on our list is the Thurso Waterwalker 132. This is another board that we've had on our best list for a long time and for really good reason. The Waterwalker 132 has just a really classic shape. It's 11 feet long, it's a bit over 31 inches wide, it's built well, it's stable, it's stiff, it's easy for paddlers to use. For 2023, Thurso did upgrade the construction to use a fusion PVC shell and that reduced the weight by a few pounds. They also changed out the fin boxes a little bit. So now we have a standard US fin box and two tab fin boxes for the side fins. They did ship those back a little bit. So now we're getting even better tracking performance. And the last little upgrade that Thurso has put in for this year is the inclusion of an electric pump with quick connect hoses, which is something we haven't seen before. Uh, it makes it really easy to get going and get on the water quick. If you're a larger paddler, if you like to bring a lot of stuff with you, if you like to paddle on those faster moving rivers, then you're really gonna love the Hydrus Joyride XL. Hydrus is an Idaho based company that designs their boards to perform well in all conditions, but particularly on the river. The Joyride XL is super stable thanks to its wide 34 inch outline, but it still has great maneuverability thanks to the exact shape of the board, the nose rocker, and its overall rigidity being among the stiffest boards that we've tested this year. For 2023, Hydrus has upgraded the construction across their entire inflatable paddleboard lineup, including switching to a woven drop stitch interior and a fusion PVC shell. This has dropped several pounds, uh, up to seven pounds off of some of their inflatable boards, which previously have been kind of heavy, but now have a great mid-range weight that provides an excellent balance between stability and stiffness and portability. In addition, Hydrus also recognizes that not all paddlers paddle in deep water. So with the Joyride XL, you do get a series of different fins, including their nine inch touring fin, their six and a half inch keel fin, and their four and a half inch gummy river fin. And that makes it a great option for the paddler who's moving around to different bodies of water all the time and uh, wants to have something that can perform well on all of them. The Gilly Mino 10 foot six is on our list for a variety of reasons. It's a super versatile board. It's extremely stable at 35 inches wide. It's very maneuverable and it comes with an excellent kit of accessories. On the board itself, you can set it up for basically any paddleboarding activity you want from yoga to fishing to even a little bit of light white water with the shallow fins that come with the board. And Gilly gives you the opportunity to upgrade your paddle at the time of purchase to a full carbon fiber paddle. The Gilly Mino 10 and a half is a great option for paddlers looking for that super stable board for those nice cruisy days around the bay, you know, hitting up the rivers, going fishing, anything like that. With the feature set, the stability and performance, the Gilly Mino makes a great paddle board for anyone from beginners to advanced paddlers. Next up, we have the Nixie Newport G4. This is the fourth generation of the Nixie Newport, which came out a few years ago. And it is one of our top choices for a lightweight, sporty, all around paddleboard. It's especially great for those medium to smaller size paddlers or for those larger paddlers who want something that's gonna be slightly more challenging, but ultimately give them uh, a more concrete set of skills that they can work with. It's a really sporty board. And what I mean by that is it has a nice 32 inch width in the middle of the board for great stability while you're paddling on flat water but with a tapered tail that when you step back to it, really gives you fast, snappy, responsive movement. In addition to that, you've got a lightweight construction that makes it super easy to transport this board around, whether it's you know, inflated in your hand or deflated on your back, or you know, dragging it along with the wheeled backpack it comes with. And one of the things we really like about Nixie's inflatable paddleboard kits is their fantastic carbon hybrid paddle. This is one of our favorite kit paddles that we've encountered. It's lightweight, it's got a nice blade shape and size, and it's a fantastic paddle for all sorts of uses and all sorts of paddler sizes. The Honu Byron is one of those boards that's just hard to describe to people how fun it feels when you're on the water. The 4.7 inch thick board, it's a little bit smaller than most inflatable boards out there, but it really gives it this closer to the water, agile, nimble, just 
fun feel as you're paddling. It's one of those boards that I describe to people that if you just, if you really enjoy the act of paddling itself, you're gonna love the Byron. The Byron is built incredibly well with the woven drop stitch interior and fusion PVC shell. And when you're on the water, you can really feel that difference. The thinner paddle boards can sometimes feel really flexible. Even as a paddler at the top of the weight range for this board, I still really love the way it feels on the water. I feel connected, I feel stable, and it's a fun board to paddle. I can step back and really swing it around for those quick sporty turns. And with a 4.7 inch thickness, it's actually a little bit more surfable than your traditional six inch thick paddle board. So if you live in a coastal area where you might wanna catch the occasional wave, the Byron is a great option. Now, the Byron doesn't include a paddle with the paddle board automatically. However, Honu does offer a discount when you bundle one of their carbon paddles with the board. And the Honu Evolution carbon fiber paddle is one of those paddles that I think really hits way above its price class. It's actually the one that I bring with me as a backup when I go racing to my significantly more expensive race paddle. It just performs that well in the water. Last but not least on our list is the Sea Gods Skyla crossover touring sup. The Skyla came out in 2022 as a harbinger for Sea Gods new CX line of construction. This uses a woven drop stitch construction, fusion PVC skin, and it just works so well. It's a super lightweight board that's incredibly stiff given how light it is. The Skylet 11 feet long by 33 inches wide gives you this really comfortable all around paddleboard feel. It's very stable, very beginner friendly, but the shape of the board also lends it to paddling very efficiently. So you can easily load it up and go on those longer trips, overnights, anything like that. Now, one of the other things about the Skyla and really any Sea Gods board that you have to mention anytime you talk about it is the absolutely amazing artwork. Now, the Skyla for 2023 has this beautiful hippocampus artwork on the bottom of the board and is getting a refresh for 2024. So keep an eye out for that in the future. Now that was just 10 of some of our favorite ice ups for 2023. We actually have five more paddle boards on our best inflatable paddle boards list for 2023. You can see all of the boards, including their in-depth reviews, tons of photos, and lots of other content over at inflatableboarder.com. If you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up below and go ahead and click that subscribe button too so you can stay up to date with all the new content we're gonna be posting. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below or talk to us over at inflatableboarder.com. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to wear your PFD and happy paddling.